Look at my hair. I promised myself I would not come on camera looking crusty, but hello you guys. It is, what's today? Tuesday, starting the weekly vlog. A little bit late in the game and crusty. Um, I'm at work, I'm always at work. Don't remind me. My skin looks really good. I feel like I need to clean off this lens, I don't know, but I literally have zero things planned for today. So today may just be a boring Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Um, actually, let me show you guys. Don't mind my desk, it's my yogurt and, and some more stuff. But um, I am actually like in the midst of like editing a video. I hope that was not a green screen, okay. So yeah, I'm like in the midst. Um, but yeah, my room is for us today. It's Sunday. It's cleaning day. I'm about to. I'm. Um, I'm already done editing this vlog, um, which will go up today. I. I'm a rookie. Bear with me. I'm learning. Um, let me log out. I did not do a motivational Monday this week. I'm super bummed about that. I'm not gonna, I was about to beat myself up about it, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. Um, it's just something that I won't miss again. Skin looks good. I need to do something with my hair, but. Mm. Hello. From greetings from me and my puff, so. I'm gonna get in my bed because low key, your girl might take a nap. <clears throat> I hate to tell y'all that I really don't be doing nothing during the week, but I really don't be doing nothing in the week. I don't be doing nothing, I don't be looking like nothing. But today's Tuesday, clearly I have to work. If you guys don't know, if you guys are new, I work from home. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, but I am off on Thursday. So I'm super excited about that. So. We'll see what Thursday brings us. But today, I literally, I don't know, I'm a little excited because like the grass is, the grass is growing. Um, I love spring. I love when, focus, it's a little blurry. Oh, there we go. I love spring. I love when like the trees blossom and like the grass starts growing, but I am terrified of summer just because of things that you know have like I've went through and gone through like I'd be terrified of summer when summer's coming but um God is ensuring me that I'm gonna be okay and this is supposed to be the best time of my life um a little word for you guys um a little encouragement um I've been talking to my sister and hello if you're watching this we're only two minutes in and I've already mentioned you so um and you know she's just encouraged me that I do indeed one second it's the answer for me look baby I ain't excited for that but she basically like we have conversations all the time I'm about to start like trying to do um like bible study with her in the morning but basically she was like i'm always in my head about things and i was a little confused about um whether re whether rather yeah, whether <laughs> um if these miracles that i'm putting in my head if i'm putting it in my head because i'm naive or am i putting it in my head because it's what i hope for or if it's god like if it's something that he said that he would do for me and i was really confused about that and my sister basically was like god gave you the vision and she was basically like you're you're too worried about um the like i worry about the past and the future at the same time but i don't really live in the present um i am a huge control freak uh, if you guys watch my motivational Monday, which I missed this Monday, um, I really needed to recollect my thoughts. Um, but I promise I will not be missing another Monday. But in that motivational Monday, I talk about, I talk to you guys about having control. I am not a control freak, whereas I want everything to 
be <laughs> controlled by me um i am a control freak as in i want to see um and i was reading the scripture it is luke i think it's luke chapter 5 verse 17 i think that's where it's like verse 15 or verse 17 and it's where um god healed the paraplegic man and basically it was um they had faith they walked in there had faith like yes god is gonna do this i just know it and they got to jesus and jesus knew that they had faith he looked in their hearts and he knew that they had faith and he was just like um you're forgiven for all your sins and they looked at him and was like only god can forgive us for all our sins and jesus looked at them and said would you rather uh, hear me say I've forgiven you for all your sins or would you rather show me that I can have this man walk? And I kind of felt like that was pertaining to my life. It took, it took a little bit of time for me to like pick each word out, but it was like, um, I was confused. I was like, God, am I naive about these thoughts? Like, am I crazy? And he was basically like, would you rather me tell you like, what he've already told me or would you rather me show you like which one do you feel is better for you because either way he's gonna do it like he's forgiven us for our sins i am not naive or anything about the miracles that i feel like he is working in my life well not even he the, the miracles that exactly what i said he is working in my life i'm not naive for wanting these things um he said it and he will do it and it's just like don't you know like what, what would you rather i said it and i'm gonna do it you want me to show you now too so <sighs> then i kind of got like this patient thing with talking to my sister and during the time i was talking to her um a bible verse popped up and she was, it was just like be still know that i am god i swear that has been going through my head for weeks and i didn't understand what he was saying until i talked to my sister but it was basically me being anxious about my future which i shouldn't be is what he's telling me i'm ashy bro but yeah that's just a little bit of word for you if you're having a little bit of discouragement please do not be discouraged like if god told you if god gave you the vision he gonna come through it's a promise it's solid it's rock it's gonna happen um but i have control issues it's like it'd be like me fighting god like not even fight it just be like but but Move over. I could do it too, but I can't do it. He has to do it. So, a little bit of word on this Tuesday afternoon. Um, I'm probably finna take a nap. Honestly, it's a work day. I don't be having much to do on a work day. I should have said. I should have real sad. Baby Winter is. She said, what she say before I came upstairs? She's downstairs on the couch, but she was like. Um, mom tired, <laughs> and I think she's taking a nap on the couch, but I can hear her tablet, so, um, she's either taking a nap or she's on that tablet, so. Get us started on the right foot of this vlog, follow your dreams, babies, because God got you, I promise. It's a battle, it's a struggle, it's really a big struggle for me, so. If I don't see y'all after, oops, no, oh, there we go. If I don't see y'all after this nap, I'll definitely see y'all tomorrow, for sure. And I don't look like shit anyways. I want Ethica <laughs> boxers. Um, my room clean while I'm up here being scary to show y'all. Yeah, it's clean. But I want Ethica boxers. Um, and a tank top, all my takes. <sighs> I get from Target. So it's getting late. Oh, why I sound like that? But um, y'all, look, my room is a little messed up, and I how it usually be. This is really how I be dressed. Nine times out of ten. So my ponytail already messed up. But let me fix this. Ugh. 
battery is about to die what i need to do is charge this battery i said i didn't have anything to do but y'all let's pray we make it downstairs in time to show y'all this there she is girl nah today we gotta go to the grocery store period um have to make this quick um but i'm about to go to this place um it's called a carbon polo it's a um what you call it it's a Mexican place and they grill their chicken. They have the best food. But I wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing, which is really nothing because I haven't even put on my shoes. But this is, I really need to clean this mirror, like for real. But this is what I'm wearing. This jean jacket that I got from Fashion Nova like two years ago. Everybody still obsesses with this jacket. Um, and then I have on these Nike sweats. Um, these are Ethica boxers. You guys seen these earlier, probably if you haven't, yeah. Um, and then I have on this Adidas hat. It's actually, I got this from my grandma. I stole it, like, you guys know she passed when she was alive. I seen it sticking out of her, um, little bucket box thing her little tote or whatever and i took it so yeah this is what i'm wearing i don't know what shoes i'm finna wear but it's it's really not that deep because we about to go on the drive through honestly i think i'm gonna just throw these on um y'all seen these in my last vlog but i never wore them just because they didn't match Girl, you could have wore them light-ups. Why would this work? <laughs> it's stuck. It ain't stuck. Oh, they off. I love this lipstick, but at Dunkin', let me get our food. I got this strawberry um, dragon fruit refresher. Yeah. Their refreshers are I actually like this. really, really good. Um, I love their refreshers, so. And I always get a large because they be put hella ice. I could have said light ice, but it be hot for some reason. This is just like heaven. These things are so good. I'm going to keep driving. I missed my appointment. It ain't meant to be. It is what it is. But I got some stuff to do today. I'm going to the nail shop with my mama today and i think she wants to do like a um brunch or something so that's that it'd be these lights for me no makeup but i'm gonna go put on makeup because i kind of want to like feel pretty um i mean i feel pretty because my skin is really clear but i just you know it's a girly date with my mom so you know at my mom's we match change shoes y'all look at my granddad what you doing what you doing nothing mommy. Mommy. look sharp huh supposed to be going to the nail shop huh exactly I do deserve a break girl don't be telling me what to do come on focus this is ghetto this is already dirty look Ridiculous like this. What you peeking at? It's the blunt for me. Hey, get out of my room. Ah. 
This looks corny. I done broke my stuff. Like the um fucking computer cleaners, like with the compressed air. Oh no, nah. we don't gang bang on this channel, love. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Prince Bill, you already know. <laughs> nah. We don't gang bang over here. So you know how I'm working like color stuff, you got cushion my pocket eye. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> Had to put a mirror on the on the other side. I was looking slow. Alright. You wanna be in my vlog? I got you. You don't have to subscribe to my channel. I already did. Merch. Yeah, the day. How you find me? It's on your link in your bio. That was a video. Oh. This is your channel, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm rusty. You're a, yeah, super. Dang, autofocus canceled. This is my best friend, y'all. Yo. Who? Who? Oh. As she should, because that's a crop top. I don't know why auto focused. What video are you looking for? Is yours? Yeah. I hope don't nobody be thinking we dating because of the bad. For <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> I don't even need them problems. Man, it was so hard. It took me like 30 minutes to set up this lightning. Teach me. But you use Premiere Pro. Uh, yeah. I don't have all them effects, and I'm not buying them either. I was sending you got me. After Effects. Yeah, I don't. I I don't use After Effects. But I'm for the start. I'm not paying for that. Where you get your effects from? You use green screen? Green screens, I use all type of stuff. I get, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for like one pack of effects. I'll just be finding stuff for free. I'm not finding, I'm not paying for nothing. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna pull up on you in a minute. All right. Wah. Oh my God. I'm gonna go to sleep. I, just got home, focus. I just got home from yesterday. Y'all see my makeup gone, my hair toe up. At least I ain't hungover. This this J Lux label jogging suit kind of baggy, but I ripped the front cause I got big titties. I'm gonna take a nap. Today is just not my day. Hello, happy Wednesday. Fix this. Brand new clothes on the floor. I have so much to do today. I really haven't done it. I'll probably do it tomorrow. But on the bright side, I filmed two videos today. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm actually gonna walk out the house and probably go to my mom's house cause I'm not feeling today. So I'm not even holding my camera right. It just looks good janky. So let me just show y'all my fit. See, I was filming today. Let me turn this off. Okay, it's off. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing. Yeah. Men's section, Forever 21, Forever 21. Medium, I don't even know what size this is. It was the last one. I think it's a 2X or a 1X. It's really big. Or it's probably an XL. One of those. Um, same makeup. Same hair. Um, the shoes I'm wearing are not white forces. But, yeah. They're like these. I think these came out around Easter. I ruined that already. 
oh well and then yeah thank you still look brand new though it's just that one little one little um shoestring i could wash them but i do not wash horses so i'm gonna get my couple of wears out of these and then that's just gonna be done for for these winter's downstairs irritated for i don't know what she mad for but i don't care i don't this quality kind of decent when the ring light on <laughs> but i still like my main camera better so yeah we about to slide out this house i'm gonna take my camera with me um, it's the light for me let's go she been crying all day oh my god I don't know. I don't have to get a person to take my pictures, which I don't. So that's why I have a clicker. Um, the pictures was not coming out how I wanted. And that's, yeah, that's why I have a clicker for my main camera and for the crappy iPhone photos that I took today, which I took a few pictures, but I feel like they didn't come out how I wanted them to. So I'm blue. I'm real blue. So it's like I'm gonna have to pick and choose the worst of the worst of the worst of pictures. That's so annoying. Them fish, them fish to laugh. Mm. Yep. Got our little little fish, little fish fish bowl. I need to rechange their water, which I just did, but you kind of have to do it weekly. Water. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. There you go. In the car. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, whatever. I've been looking for this mask. Look at it. It's so <sighs> bad. Today is just not my day, but I'm just, I'm just not. I need, I need to edit pictures. I got too much stuff to do today, and I'm irritated. I just, I break it. Got that. Like I like to flatten my images, so I use like this app. Like when I want to edit like phone pictures, it looked decent from this way, but this picture is ass. <laughs> when I'm ooh, when I'm editing like phone pictures, um, I like to um, I like to use the Linza app, but I like my pictures to be flat. Like I don't like too much highlight; it just be looking crazy. So yeah, I like my pictures to be flat. I mean, I guess it's an okay picture. That looks stupid to me. I'm gonna get to driving because I'm low key starving, and I think I'm. You want some Chick Fil A? Yeah. Boo, gee. You want a cupcake? You want a cupcake? Yep. Cool. Starbucks it is. Okay, so this up. I didn't show y'all nothing because I'm tired and this phone just been sitting here. So went to Chick-fil-A. This is Winter's food. She always gets the bread and nuggets. Um and I got some fries because I just ate a protein box from um I got some fries and macaroni because I just ate a protein. Well that's still fat, but I just ate a protein box from um starbucks that's what that is but it's all gone i'm getting asked birthday questions um my daughter you guys don't know i do have two kids um it's just that situation a little bit different i've been uh like around her since she was 13 years old um and she's about to be 22 23 yeah i've been around her like a lot of her life so yeah um i'm her second mom she calls me her second mom um she's asked me what i want i've been to <laughs> if you do if you guys i haven't been talking about this a lot oh that's nice sorry i just posted a photo on instagram go ahead and follow me but um if you guys are um 
if you guys well you guys haven't heard me say about it a lot but if you guys follow me on twitter you'll like see me doing like hints and stuff so she just asked me um because i'm getting the desi sunglasses for my birthday um i already ordered those but <laughs> i just she said um there's a pair of shoes that i really want and she was like hey if they're in stock um i can get those for your birthday or do you want the jacket and i was just like the jacket like i want my bike jacket um i do want this helmet let me show y'all it's so cold but sheesh i'm just gonna i probably just end up honestly getting a scorpion um just because please like the price on this thing you'll be like you you i sus so let me the um hjc 11 pro the venom 2 helmet oh my god this thing is sick like come on seriously like oh i need this helmet but it is in my size I'm a medium. It's $539.99. It's damn near worth it. But this is definitely a helmet that I'm going to be getting. Um, but for now, like since this one is so expensive, I am going to um, get a scorpion helmet. Um, I'm going to show y'all what it is. It's really matte black. You guys know, like, um, well, y'all know my style a little bit. You guys are starting to learn. Um, it's a full face helmet. I really don't understand why females don't like full face helmets. You ain't cute. And full face helmets are sexy to me. But I'm just going to get this scorpion one. Um, it's this one right here. But I'm going to get the matte black one. They have it in white too. But I'm just, yeah. This is the helmet that I'm going to get. Because I'm playing as hell. <laughs> um, or it was going to be this one. But I don't want too much white. Because like my bike is already white. I don't want too much white. Ow. So, hey. My head. It's okay. So, yeah, I'm going to get the matte black. I don't like the glossy look. I mean, it's okay, but I like the I like the matte black. This is the glossy look. I don't know. It's okay. But I just feel like this looks way better. I'm going to look at some reviews on YouTube. That's how that's what really catches my eye. Um, but this one is really like inexpensive. It's only $149. So I'm gonna get this one first. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna get it, or I think she's trying to get it for me. But um yeah. Ooh. I love how this camera just kinda like it just because whole time it's decent lighting outside like it's gloomy a little bit but <sighs> but i love how this camera adjusts to um like being in dark places because this room is dark as hell like y'all can't even see i'm in my well now y'all can see sort of just like the window but my mom's house is dark I just got here and then as soon as I was pulling up she was leaving so that's boring right? we I don't know if y'all like I live in Chicago so we be smoking these things this one is by this is Mr. Fogg this is my first time having this one this is a it's an apple ice. It smells good. But these are so... Kids. They bad for you. Don't be... Don't be smoking on these. You got nicotine, but it's just like... Uh, they kind of like... Hmm... I need to go get a CBD one. I do know that. I need to go get one with CBD. Because it's supposed to help with like depression and anxiety. I tried CBD before. Um, I'm going to go big. 
She want her LPS channel. Grindy back there, Jess. This camera nice, though. He went to go. Need some milk. You need some what? Bye. Here you go. You got that my candy? Them been up there for a while. Wow, you might as well have took this shit you ate them on. No, sir. All these knives. Right. Yeah, because the landlady was on some bullshit today. Let me have these. No. Let me buy them from you. No, buy your own. But why would why do you have two pair? Because they're different colors, obviously. They're clearly the same color. I got a new camera. Clearly that I bought. You got money, huh? Nope. Bought this from my sister. I bought some Miss Lola stuff. She could let me have them. No, these are my Christmas. I mean Easter forces. I bought some dream catchers and some sandwich. some green sketchers. Dream catchers. So we just got in the house. My phone, is, my phone is literally dead. It's like on one percent. Huh? And Loki. And Hey. Loki, I'm tired. You looking at the fish? He hurt. Yep. He ain't hurt. He good. He going to hurt, but it hurt. He ain't hurt. Look. Got some wing stop. Look. See? It's a little fish. <laughs> it's a little fish mouth. Yep. It's another one in here. Little fish He over eye. here. Right Look. There. Right there, y'all. He, I'm so tired. My daddy hot. Like, let me stop taking off my shoes. Downstairs, cause I'll be mad when I gotta Hold put them upstairs, take them back upstairs, right put them in a box. Right here. <gasps> you it's found it. Fresh. Yep. It's, it's really spot. Is this that? Is it? It's time for bed, little girl. It's a water fresh. Guess what? What is you? See y'all tomorrow. What is? <clears throat> it's the hair for me, <laughs> but I just got home, and honestly. Um, I'm gonna cut this vlog short um, this week um, here today Saturday today Saturday April whatever I don't even freaking know I should know because my birthday is in like five days so today the 16th we gonna end this vlog here just cuz um, today I didn't even do anything I didn't do much because The devil basically been attacking me all day. Like, I feel like um, God gave me a whole bunch of promises. And I just know in my heart that they're going to happen. But I worry. Um, like, I have a... I live... I rarely live in the present, y'all. Um, I live in the past because it be hurting. Like, I think about that all the time. And I live in a future which isn't even here. Like, the past is gone. And the future, <laughs> it's not even here. But I worry about, I live in the past because, like, it's stuff that hurt. And then I live in the future. Um, not more so, like, living in the future. But I guess, well, I guess you could say living in the future because I worry about the future like i'm stuck in the past and i worry about the future the future but i never really focus on the now so today like the devil was attacking me and if you guys don't know if you guys are new to my channel yes okay um i work from home and i used to be so like I used to not um, take off for mental health reasons. I feel like mental health really gets swept under the rug. 
and I remember my sister telling me a story about um, a guy she used to work with that actually killed himself be, uh, like over his job and it's just like honestly like if I die today my job ain't covering no damn funeral calls they're probably gonna send their condolences to my mom so I used to be afraid to like take off because you know I like being like the worker who shows up to work and stuff and it's just like at this point like I'm I'm not about to kill myself and I'm not about to transfer this energy on to um, people that I encounter either and it, it's just not worth it because like my sister said at the end of the day I'm just going to be another person that they're going to replace and I know they you know be like oh we really want you here and all this I want me to be here too and I'm not talking about this damn job like I want me to be here for my daughter I want me to be here for me I like I couldn't and I'm trying not to cry I couldn't imagine the pain my mom would have to go through burying a child y'all so today I just kind of I sat in bed and then I was like, God, what do you want me to do? And um, a lot of the times he don't necessarily tell me, I just get to doing stuff. So I was gonna hold off on even going to get food with Winter um, and I was going to order, uh, I was gonna door dash the food that we were gonna get. And I was so set in snow on door dashing this food and winter comes up to me with her shoes because I told her to get her shoes like an hour before so mind you I'm just sitting in his bed crying to God and I'm like what am I supposed to do and I'm about to order this food that I've been trying to order for like an hour and winter comes in the room with her shoes and she was like I found them and I was like okay put your shoes on and we ended up leaving and y'all God is really really powerful um right now i have a message um because like when i put on my shoes i went in the car and i just started crying and i was just like the blessings and the things that he's promised me like they're coming in slowly but surely but i was telling him like i'm too busy living in the past like and i told him that like i have conversations with god that's what you do when you pray you talk to god and i was just like i'm too busy living in the past lord and i do apologize please like do not don't make an example out of me and i know he won't he he will not hurt me period but i was just being completely transparent and honest with him for the first time in a long time and i was just like I live in a past and I can't help it hurts it does and I I be scared of the future because of things that happened in the past like it's like I don't give myself enough hope for the future and I, I told God I was like I'm gonna stay off social media which I needed to to like hear your word you know and I was just like I need you to hold my hand and I was like I am your child and I know some things you want us to do on our own but coming from the headspace that I was just in and you know like that lifestyle and just not saying I was on crack or nothing but coming from like you know like cutting if you guys are new like I did my mama get up series and I talked about that like coming from cutting like and I feel like crying. I love talking to y'all. I know someone is going to watch this. So that's why it don't bother me because I know I'm here to help. So I told God, I was like, I need you to hold my hand. I ain't asking you to literally every step of the way. It may feel like that. And I told him, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to be irritating. I don't want to irritate you, but I need you to hold my hand. And I said, I'm turning off all social media. Granted, I went up on there. But I was just like, I need to hear you. I don't need to hear you on social media. Like, you send me a sign, any sign, please. I don't care. Like, help me. Like, I was desperate. And one of the signs that I got, I do not understand. Um, but I was just texting my best friend and um i was just telling him how i feel we tend to like tell you guys will you guys seen him earlier in the vlog and we tend to like tell each other like 
he'll tell me about his stuff and it's really good to have people like that um but i'm i'm just looking at the message and i know one thing i'm just pinpointing things out and one thing god said was i will not fail like at nothing in life and sometimes god do speak through other people i wasn't expecting him to say this but the last part of his message really really stuck out to me so i'm kind of stuck on that um it may be in my motivational monday coming up um if i can figure out what this means but basically um it's he said feel to see and see to feel and i was like what are you talking about so right now i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place trying to figure out like what is this man talking about um and of course the message will be conveyed differently for me than it is to you but right now i'm stuck on feeling feel to see and see to feel if i keep repeating it it'll make sense but a lot of the things it just stuck out to me so so right now walk by faith not by sight feel to see and see to feel whatever that means so i love y'all that's the end of this vlog <clears throat> honestly because i am about to go get dressed and go get those drinks um yeah i'm about to get dressed and go get some drinks for sure so yeah i love you guys um and i will see y'all in my next video